picked my father's camera, he was an amateur photographer, and I picked his Canon with his black and white film and just held it, didn't know what to shoot. Um, and then my mom, I heard she was waking up for an afternoon nap, and I got into her room and started taking pictures of her. Um, and something really significant happened in the way that I could see more suddenly, being looking through the camera and in what I could see of her and what she gave to me. So I think in those few minutes of photographing her when I was 15, a decision <laughs> was made. Um, and I started taking pictures of my family, um, then did the Israeli army, went to art school, to B'Tselel Academy of Art and moved to New York. I think that looking at my own images, I understand more about myself and my life and my family. Using photography to cope with your life, to use it in the way that you want to use it. For some people, it's very therapeutic, me included, to point the camera directly to what you want to cope with, your pain, your anger, your relationship. I think making art, any kind of art, usually comes from, and I don't want to be the depressed artist here, but it does come from pain. But what we do with this is, is different. So I think what's right for me might not be helpful to, to other people, but people work in different ways and they make art about different things that it can come from a very personal need or pain or something you really want to say, but it doesn't have to photograph the thing itself. While with me, it's very direct. I'm a mother and I'm dealing with certain things. I'm photographing them. So the advice would be to find your own way, to use the pain or, or the joy or the things we don't want to lose and, and photograph whatever you want to photograph. The switch to digital was very challenging for me. I was afraid to do it. Then I had to decide on the camera. And then I finally decided on the camera, looked at the files and started making print. And I had difficulties there to make them look at least the way they looked when I was printing in the darkroom and shooting with negatives. And then I just started um, looking for different papers, also started to understand the archival differences and of course looked for the most archival paper I could get. So I tried different papers, some of them archival and gallery quality. And then it was actually Jeff Hirsch at PhotoCare that told me, why won't you try the gold fiber silk, Ilford? It's a beautiful paper, because I showed him some of my print, and he was like, I think you're gonna like it. And that was after trying, I don't know, 25 kinds of paper. So I bought a box and tried this paper, um, and I can explain now why I love the paper. When I chose it, I was like, okay, this is it. I didn't know why, I just like looked at the print, and I loved it. It was just right, it was right for my images and I've been printing with it ever since, I don't know, three years or so, three and a half years. I like the texture, I like that it's archival. Now I know that it's a lot about the fact that the skin tones are very soft and, and milky, but the colors are still saturated, which I think I, ha I felt like I had to choose either for the softer papers or for the colors, but the, the paper gave me everything and the gallery liked it, it just, it looked good.